Good morning. How y'all doing? It's your girl, the Watchman. And today is Sunday. Uh, I don't know, October the 9th, I think. Yeah, I think it's October the 9th. It's a beautiful day. It is so nice out here. I promise y'all it's so nice out here. I'm loving the sun. I'm loving the fact that my my son brought his brought my grandbabies to see me. So they they stay for a little while and they're gone, but um it was a it was a it was wonderful to see them. So I want to talk to you guys uh about something that keeps coming to my mind, but every time I get ready to do a video, it goes I lose it. Like I end up getting distracted or something happens and I for whatever reason don't do the video. So I'm doing a video. Like I immediately, when it came back into my head this time, I immediately stopped what I was doing. I was like, okay, I need to do this video. So I'm going to do this video right now before it leaves me again. Okay. So I keep getting these thoughts about this, this reality that we live in. And I this is a narcissistic world. The whole entire plan, the whole entire plot of this is narcissistic. I hope y'all know that. Because everything that we as children of God, black people, are accused of doing through media, through, you know, like just, we already know. We're always looked upon um as the bad seed but the reality is that we're it's not us it's them the caucasians they're the ones that are the bad seed but they're projecting to us that it's us and because they're doing that we are behaving as such and i just wanted to put that out there like no that's not true you know what i'm saying the things that we do we got from them Think about it. Who taught you how to straighten your hair? Hmm. Okay. Who's putting these crazy, ridiculous TikTok videos up right now trying to get people to try it? Not us. But we're the ones that get blamed for it. We're the ones that cause the most problems. But it's not us. We're gaslit. We're gaslit by neighbors. We're gaslit by media we're gaslit by governments like that's the reason why we are looked at as the bad um the bad seed because we're gaslit literally by them and when we react it just proves their point you feel me hold on sorry about that i had to clean my camera i guess it's clean it was looking a little foggy Maybe it's the sun, but whatever. But yeah, like seriously, we are the ones that are being gaslit by them. And then when we react, we get looked at. Like that's when we get zoomed in on and throw it on TV and throw it on YouTube. And it's like, look at them. Look what they're doing. But it's not us. It's them. There are so many things that we have been taught by them to do that we're not supposed to be doing, like shaving. I don't know about any other true black person that has no Caucasian in them at all or any other mixed race, but we don't grow a lot of hair. We don't grow a lot of hair. So we would have no reason to be shaving. Secondly, Adam and Eve wasn't shaving. So why are we shaving? Right? Well, maybe we shaving because we were taught to shave. And why were we taught to shave? I mean, by whom do y'all think we were taught to shave by? Hmm. Who has a lot of hair? I'll wait. Not us. So they taught us to do that, just like they taught us about straightening our hair. 
It's not, it's backwards, y'all. It's backwards, and we need to fix this. It needs to be fixed. You feel me? It really does. But anyway, um, what else have we been taught that we should not be doing? And, and it's just proven a point that we live in a narcissistic world. The world that they project onto us, that what they do, not that it, it, it makes sense to me. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but it makes sense to me. I keep trying to figure out about these bras and these underwear, right? Like, it's uncomfortable. But we've been taught by tradition to wear them. Why? Who told us to do that? Who put us on underwear? Hmm? Who created underwear and bras? And why? What was the purpose? Think about it. Now, I'm not a scientist. I, I'm just going to tell you straight up. I can discern the mess out of a lot. And my discernment is telling me that, um, and my wisdom, because she does walk with me. And she is black, by the way. I, I had a dream about her. She's black. But anyway, I saw her face. She's beautiful, too. Teeth whiter than mine. Beautiful black queen. But that was wisdom. I think her name is Sophia. But anyway, um, I feel like they put the bra and them underwear on us. The true reason, I believe, is smell. I think there were some STDs back then. And I think that they came up with underwear to try to mask that. Because, see, the chosen, God's chosen didn't, we didn't, we weren't, we didn't have STDs. We were given STDs as a punishment for Rebellion. I mean, what does the Bible say? He gave us over to the things that we wanted. He gave humanity over. He gave his children. He gave us over to what we desired. And we desired those those people, those fallen. Those, those, are the, those are the descendants of the fallen ones, of the fallen angels. They're descendants. Why do you think they pushed the black and white couple so much? Even uh, uh, Sister Carrie Ann was talking about that. Like, come on. I saw that. I'm like, wow, all of a sudden they're showing all these commercials with black and white couples. What is that about? And I asked God, I'm like, what is that about? Wisdom, talk to me. Guess what? That's an agenda. Miss Carrie Ann, Sister Carrie Ann, she might be, she might be on to something. Because I was on to that too. I was kind of peeping that out. Like, what is that all about? And then, I'm going to put some chapstick on. And then, as a... Uh, hold on there, y'all. Look at here. That's another thing she talked about is how your lips get so chapped when you're talking. And they really do. She doesn't want to do this. See what I'm doing? She don't want to do that. And I don't blame her because it's not professional. But, um, you know, I feel like it's over trying to be all professional. And no, I'm not doing it. Not, not in this video. I'm just doing an impromptu. So it's cool. But anyway, yeah, so... I'm like, am I the only one that sees that children of mixed races have issues? I'm just saying they have issues. You can call it what you want. But children of a mixed race, not all of them, but most of them have problems. They have a lot of, of, of issues. The Bible says, do not have, don't mix with them. Don't have babies by them. Stay away from them. Who you think he was talking about? Do you think he was talking about his own? One of these things is not like the other. 
<laughs> like, for real. He wasn't talking about the people that are your color. He was talking about the people that are not your color. And you might look up and get one or two, a very small percentage of them are true children of God. Very small percentage. The rest of them, mm -mm. and I believe they are going to turn on you. They will turn on you. In the last days, they're going to turn right on you. Yep. The white men are going to turn on the sisters. And the white women are going to turn on the brothers. Yep. Y'all think it's cute. You know? You think it's cute to be making them babies. But them same babies going to be the ones to be your destruction. Because the Bible said the children turn on their parents. Mm-hmm. Yep. So... I know what that is now. That is my, um, that's my, uh, what you call it? My little cover for my phone, my glass cover. It's off in my, on my camera lens, so it's making a, a little, like, fog over. But it's cool, because it doesn't change the value of the video. Just the quality a little bit. But anyway, um, yeah, that's it. And it's just, this is a narcissistic world. They have projected so much of themselves onto us that we truly believe that we're like that, and we're not. We're very peaceful people. But they are showing the small percentage of us that have uh, bought into, bought into that lie. And they've become what the media has said that they are, not what God says that they are. So, that's crazy, man. It's just crazy. But anyway, I just wanted to come on and do a video. I had to get that out because, whew, I'm like, oh my God, this is crazy. Like, this is narcissistic. Everything that these white people are doing, they're projecting it on us. And they're trying to tell us that it's us, and it's not us. You know, it's not us. We don't go out there trying to discover nothing. They're stealing. I used to watch the History Channel to no end. I used to watch Discovery to no end. Thinking that I was, you know, just watching something. No, all they did was put their looking for stuff to steal on TV and called it discovery. And we got to sit here and watch them discover our riches. And then they take them. All these artifacts and all this stuff, that's our stuff. All this gold and jewels and, and these books and scrolls and things, that stuff is for us. But they're out there looking for it and taking it before we can even get to it. You see what I'm saying? To make sure that we don't get the um the real and true understanding of what's going on in this world. That's exactly what that is. Y'all better wake up. You better wake up. You better wake up. This is a trick. You hear me? This is a straight up trick. I'm tripping right now. I'm tripping. But anyway, I love y'all. I hope that y'all wake up and get this because this is real reality it's a narcissistic reality it's a narcissistic world we live in and people need to wake up and understand that so i love y'all you know i gotta watch my six and y'all be safe out here this sunday have a blessed day all right and try to get outside and get some sunshine, get some vitamin D. All right. Love y'all. It's your girl, The Watchman. Be blessed.